Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get right into it, constructing the hooded sweatshirt from the In The Game pattern for the superhero body. We're going to be completing Jacob Black's In The Game look using upcycled t-shirts from a local thrift store. With that information being said, let's go ahead and get started. With our pieces cut out, the first thing we're going to do is grab the front of the jacket as well as our zipper and get it installed. I am using a seven inch separating zipper for the project, but you want to make sure that you measure the front of the jacket so that you get the right dimension for that zipper. So we're going to be turning this lower edge up to create the elastic casing. So I want my zipper to end right at that fold line where the elastic casing is going to end. And also with the seam allowance taken into account at the neckline, I want the top of the zipper to end there. If I make that measurement, it's about five and a half inches. The actual workable portion of this zipper is about six inches. I'm going to fold the edges of the zipper tape down so that it makes the exact same dimension that I need for the front of the zipper. I'm going to take a needle and thread and just overcast a few stitches to hold that dimension in place. For the front of the jacket, I'm actually going to turn the edge under one half of an inch and give it a press and I'm going to line my zipper up with that and then top stitch from the right side of the fabric. Remember when you're installing your zipper, you wanna leave a quarter inch seam allowance at the top and enough room for your casing at the bottom. We're gonna pin that zipper tape in place and top stitch from the right side of the fabric. Before moving on to the next step, let's check the functioning of the zipper. All right, so everything seems to look pretty good. Now that we have the zipper installed, we're gonna place the front of the jacket to the back with right sides together and sew the shoulder seams. All right, with our shoulder seams pressed open, the next step is gonna to be to go ahead and grab our sleeve pieces. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to the sleeve like I did with the pants here by putting a piece of satin ribbon in the very center of the sleeve. If you're gonna do this, I recommend that you change both your top thread and your bobbin thread so that it doesn't come through on the actual stripe. So I'm gonna fold the sleeve pieces in half and give them a press, and that's the line that I'm gonna to follow to actually attach that stripe to each sleeve piece. Now since I am gonna to, uh, put a white satin ribbon onto the sleeves. At the same time, I'm also going to grab my hood pieces and sew the uh, back seam to the hood lining. With our stripe in place, we're gonna grab the actual jacket and we're gonna place these sleeves right sides together to the armhole opening and sew it in place. So we have our first sleeve installed and we're gonna go ahead and repeat that on the second side. Thank you. 
You do want to take note that you want your stripes to start on the same part on both sleeves, and I think it looks um, adequate. So we're going to go ahead from here and we're going to turn the cuff edge of the sleeves up to form the elastic casing. Once you get the elastic run through the casing, you're going to pull the gathers until it fits the doll's wrists, and then you're going to secure it off at each end. For the next step, we're going to place the jacket right sides together and sew the side seams. So here's the project with the jacket so far. This is the lining to the actual hood, and this is our hood piece. So for the next step, we're actually gonna just sew the rounded edge of the hood, and then we're gonna place the lining with it right sides together and sew around the face opening. I've already trimmed down the seam allowance on both the lining and the exterior portion of the hood. Now I'm just gonna take the hood and turn it right side out. If you do wanna add a little detail to the hood, you can add an eyelet for the string to go through to pull the hood closed. In this case, I'd recommend that you use just a tiny piece of scrap fusible interfacing to the inside of the fabric, just to give it a little bit of stability where you're gonna set that eyelet since the knit does have a little bit of stretch to it. Once you have that fusible interfacing in place, you're gonna measure in a quarter inch from the neck edge opening, as well as a quarter inch in from the face opening and place that hole. In this case, I'm just using a crocodile tool to do it, but you're welcome to set this by hand as well. I'm just gonna punch right there with my tool. I'm gonna to place an eyelet through the front of the hole, and I'm gonna put an eyelet washer on the back just to make sure that I have a little bit more security in holding it in place. Perfect. Now that we have both of the eyelets set in the hood, we're gonna place the lining with the hood right sides together and sew around the face edge. Once you have the hood turned right side out, you're gonna press the edge, and then you're actually gonna go ahead and sew along the uh, finished edge to form the casing for the string for the hood. I'm gonna take a quick base stitch along the raw edge opening of the neck just to secure the hood and the lining together. At this point, I'm gonna run the string actually through the hood casing. It's easier than doing it after you have it attached. So I'm just using a needle that I have in my collection that has a rounded edge, so it won't actually poke through the fabric and it's a little bit easier to string the embroidery floss through. With our string set through, we're gonna go ahead and pin the hood right sides together to the jacket and sew it together at the neck. Once you have that neck edge sewn, you're gonna check each side and make sure everything looks pretty good. 
And as you can see, there's our actual string with the eyelet, looks good, finished to the top of the zipper, and I think that looks great. So from there, the next step is gonna be just to do a trim of this actual seam allowance, and then run a zigzag or surge stitch along the hood raw edge. We have two more steps and our hooded sweatshirt will be finished. We're gonna take and turn up the hem edge of the actual jacket to form the casing. Then we're gonna run the elastic through and secure it at both sides. Once we have that task complete, we're gonna try our fit to the doll and get those final photographs. Once you have the elastic run through to the other side, you're gonna secure it off at one end, get a fit to the doll's waist, and secure it off on the other end. From there, we can get our final photographs. Well, we made it to the end of another sewing tutorial and I think Jacob Black looks great. If you have any questions about the construction of the in the game pattern or any of the elements included, please list it in the comment section below. As always, thank you for following me along and for your time. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.